Hello, welcome to my channel. I live in such a beautiful place in southwest Florida. I thought I'd paint some of the local scenes. I hope you enjoy this one. This is um, looking across uh, Palm Solar Bay from the causeway, looking toward the mainland. So here we go. The first thing I did was make a sketch on tracing paper, a very rough sketch, and then I transferred it to my um, 9 by 12 canvas panel. As usual, I'm using water mixable oils. I have titanium white, cad yellow light, raw sienna, raw umber, French ultramarine blue, sap green, and alizarin crimson. I'm using French ultramarine blue and I'm going to paint the sky and the water and I'll be adding some titanium white to make it opaque and a little paler too. But for now I'm just sort of sketching, getting paint on the canvas. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to add some sap green to the water. Um, it quite often takes me a while to get the water how I like it. Uh, so um, I'm sort of adding cad yellow to it. I want to get it that sort of turquoise color that Florida ocean water has. It's very pretty. So the water is nowhere near how I would like it to be, but I'll carry on and um, add in some of the tro tropical uh, plantings on the um, opposite shore and just get paint on the canvas like I said. I'm get, just giving suggestions of rooftops. Um, I'm not painting this exactly as you would see it in a photograph. Um, I'm just sort of uh, painting it from memory. My daughter and I went for a ride along the causeway and I thought this would be a nice scene to paint, but I can't remember exactly what there is there. I know it's um, million dollar mansions and I don't think these look exactly like million dollar mansions, but hey, it was generally a very pretty scene and that's what I'm aiming for here. The causeway is lined with beautiful um, pine trees. They have very long soft needles uh, so I'm going to put those in as um, well as the um, posts that were sticking up at the edge. Of, I'm not sure. I think that was like where the parking line was and then the beach is beyond that just seem to have lost a little bit of that but hey I'll get there I think I should have put in the beach first and then put the posts in. I do sometimes do things in the wrong order, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference, I find. These old pine trees are quite gnarly. They've got twisted roots and knobbly bits over them and... Um, they're very pretty. You can probably hear my dog Tommy grooming himself in the background. There's nothing I can do about that. He's his own man.
The houses at the edge of the bay have beautiful ornamental plantings, lovely tropical trees and flowering shrubs and um, cypress trees and I don't know what they're called but some lovely trees that have orange, bright orange blossom on them. And um, so I'm trying to um, suggest, I'm always using that word but um, I don't like to get too detailed, so I'm trying to suggest the tropical quality of these yards. I'm going to put some light on these posts just using a dab of, um, I think it's Naples yellow. But um, it's all sort of beginning stuff right now and things change in my paintings. It never stays the same. The pines had dropped needles and the ground is quite rough along the Causeway Beach. There's very stony, very scrubby and that's what I'm trying to um, show here. The line uh, of the coastline on the far distance was quite dark um, and um, I'm not sure. I have to put this aside and come back and see what I need to do. I'm tapping away at the greens, um, the trees and the shrubs in the distance. Once. I've got my um, canvas covered in paint in what I hope is a mid-tone, then it's a case of dabbing on lights and darks here and there, getting in my lights and my shadows. And um, I try not to get too detailed in my paintings, um, but I like you to be able to sort of feel that you could sort of step into them. That's what I like in painting. I'm going to lighten up the sky, make it look more like a Florida sunny sky. I've just got uh, French ultramarine blue and titanium white. There are a few palm trees in the background too, so I'm going to see if I, they're very um, skinny and tall and a sort of tiny thing to put in, so I don't know how successful this will be, but we'll give it a shot.
I'm just going to use um, a little Taylor green and I'm going to use that on the foliage and, and sort of pump up that tropical look. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm using a bristle fan brush and putting in the long soft needles of these pine trees. I wish I could remember the name of them if I ever knew it um, but it's a really beautiful tree very gnarly knobbly bark and um, the roots sort of um, wander along the beach and um, the pine needles themselves are must be about six inches long. It's a very beautiful tree to paint. These trees run all along the causeway. Uh, it's um, Manatee Avenue. It runs from the mainland, from Bradenton area to Anna Maria Island. And um, it has a lot of these trees. I've put one on either side of my painting to sort of frame it so that it helps you look into the painting, keeps your eye going forward. Well, I started this painting quite late and um, the light is sort of not, just not bright enough for me now. So I'm going to leave it and work on it again tomorrow um, and I'll see better what I need to do next. Okay, so I painted this quite late in the day and um, I guess I was tired and the light wasn't as good as it could have been. So I left it overnight and looked at it again this morning and I realized I need more lights, maybe even some more darks in there, but I've definitely got to do something with that water um, because that's not how it should be. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off by putting a hint of um, reflection in the water. I'm going to draw it down. Well, that paint from yesterday is still quite sticky. I'll put some tree reflection in. I have to work on that a bit more. Doesn't seem to be responding very well today. I think that the paint is very sticky for some reason.
I love the long uh, pine needles that these trees have on them. They're quite different to the pines that you see in other places, the ones here in Florida. I think this house is taller. I've reached the point where I'm just uh, adding more highlights and shadow to various places. Um, the painting is mainly finished apart from that. So I just kept dabbing away, adding more highlights and shadow and um, eventually arrived at a place where I felt happy to leave it alone, which is always hard for me. I never know when to give up. So I hope you enjoyed the video and this very pretty view of Palma Solar Bay um, in southwest Florida. And if you did, please help the algorithm find me by giving me a thumbs up 
And if you'd like to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. Thank you and bye for now.